Hello everyone, in this video what we are going to see is email trigger. Let me explain the scenario. Our logic app needs to get trigger whenever your email is delivered to this particular Outlook account with attachments. So the logic app needs to copy the attachments to the Azure storage blob. So this is the our requirement. I have created a logic app. If you don't know how to create a logic app, please watch my introduction video about it. And the first step is to define the type of trigger. As I told you earlier, we are going to trigger this logic app based upon an email arrival in Outlook. So in order to do it, just click on choose an operation and go under all and look for Outlook. Here you have Office 365 Outlook and Outlook.com as well. If you have Office 365 work or school account, then go with this. If you don't have, uh, then create an Outlook account and from there you can uh, do it uh, I'm going to use my personal Outlook account so let me select this and here you have uh, various types of trigger which is available for Outlook connector for example when a new email arrives when a new email mentioning me arrives and based upon event created so likewise you have uh, various option over here we are going with the first uh, trigger which is when a email arrives so let me select this and in order to interact with the outlook we need a connection right in order to establish a connection here we need to sign in with our outlook account just click on sign in once you sign in this option will show up and here you have an option to specify the folder name initially it is inbox so i am going to leave as it is but because my email will be arriving in inbox and if you want to set some uh, importance, let's say for example, trigger only if an email with high importance uh, deliver, uh, you know, received. In that case, you can select high in that, but uh, my email uh, won't have any, uh, you know, importance. So I'm going to leave it as any. And do you want to trigger the email only with attachment, right? Yes. We need to trigger our email only if it has an attachment because we are going to read that attachment and we are going to post it to blog and we don't want to trigger it unwantedly and include attachment are we going to do any operation with the attachments if so i'm going to select yes because it is clearly saying that should the response of the trigger include attachment content so i'm going to select this here you have additional parameters like subject filter from and to it is better to specify from address because you don't want to uh, trigger from unwanted email address right you just want to uh, you know trigger your logic cap only in case a email from this particular email id is received so in that case you can provide an email id over here as of now i'm not going to give it let me remove this now and now as per our scenario we can get multiple attachment as well it doesn't matter how many attachments are there we need to copy those files to our blob we may need a for each for this but i'm not going to create a for each loop here as of now so instead i'm going directly to add action and i'm going to look for blob azure storage blob so this is the one let me select this and here you have various option i'm going to create a blob which means i'm creating a new file and here we need to specify the connection name first and here we need to specify the authentication type i'm going with the logic apps managed identity and let me click on create okay here we need to specify the storage account name folder path blob name and then blob contact so these information we need to pause it by default we won't have access to the storage account so in order to grant access what we need to do is let me open this uh, logic app in a new window enter under ident identity in settings we need to make sure the system assigned is turned on with this access only we are going to grant uh, you know with this identity only we are going to grant access and 
we want our logic apps to access the storage account right so in order to do it go to the storage account so this storage account i have created and under this we need to go to access iam role assignment and just click on add a role assignment here look for blob storage blob data contributor which will allow us to read write and delete a storage blob containers and data this is what the exact so this is the exact access which we want so let me select this and click on next and here we need to say which type of uh, you know assignment we are going to give so we are going to uh, provide access based upon manager identity let me select this and we need to select the member so, so to which uh, you know resource we are going to grant access we are going to grant access to our logic apps right so in order to do it let me select manager identity logic apps and select the logic app which we want just i'm selecting it here it got selected and next review and assign usually it will take around five minutes to reflect you need to wait for five minutes so in the meantime let me copy this look if the storage account is coming up here if not just click on enter a custom value and just paste the storage account name over here now here if you uh, click on it usually you won't have access because we just granted we need to wait for five minutes let me close this we crossed five minutes it should have access and one more mistake which i did is i added one extra spacing here let me remove it and I mean in the storage of the name one spacing was there which I removed now and here if you go under this you will find the folder path meaning like the container name over here so let me select this and what is the blob name so what is the name of the file we are going to create so here you have various option which is available and I'm going to keep the same name as it is meaning like whatever the attachment name is there it is going to be the file name as well so i'm selecting attachment name if you see this here a for each loop is automatically created because logic app is smart enough to identify that there will be multiple uh, you know multiple items could be there for this type of uh, activity so it automatically created a for each loop now just select this create a blob and what is a blob content it is going to be whatever we have in the current item meaning like in this for each loop whatever the current item because for each of the file it is going to loop right so current item just select this simple and you have additional option to select uh, you know content type which is not required for this uh, video and that's it it's time to test what we need to do is we need to send an email to this particular outlook account which we have uh, set as a trigger and we need to uh, you know in that that email should have uh, attachments so from my personal email id i'm going to send two emails to this particular uh, outlook account with attachment now let's see whether it is getting properly triggered so let me save this first it got saved and I'm going to send an email from my personal account. I have drafted an email uh, from an another uh, account for, uh, which is my Gmail and I have uh, you know I'm sending the email to my Outlook account uh, which is having some subject as China info and here I have attached two attachments which is one for air quality and weather you can attach uh, any attachment. Now let me send this and in our logic app let me go to overview where you can get to see the activity of it uh, as of now there is no trigger these and all uh, old uh, triggers ignore it for today there is no trigger as of now let me wait see it is running a uh, email has arrived and even you could see my outlook it is having an email let me refresh 
it got completed let me see the history and here you could see what total activities ran it is showing success success and and blob got created let me go to the storage account container inbound see here you, we could find both the attachments over here and one more important thing is that hit like and comment so that youtube algorithm will promote our videos to many users and i will be providing the code part of this particular logic app in our telegram channel so that you can just simply copy paste in your logic app or you can open it in a notepad and see what what logic we have written in our logic app you can just see uh, from your notepad or something like that and that's it on this video thank you for watching do follow me on linkedin to stay connected thank you